Watch out, explosion. Vladimir and his team have come here, close to the front line, to find the bodies of soldiers. Their work at a new search site usually begins like this, clearing the area of explosives, some of them booby traps. The Russians usually leave surprises everywhere. They can even be under dead bodies. It's generally accepted that hundreds of thousands of soldiers have died in this war already. Many of their bodies still lie here, in the rural areas of eastern Ukraine. It doesn't take long before Vladimir's team finds something. People here had chickens, ducks, cows and pigs on their farms. When they had to flee, they couldn't take them with them and abandoned the animals. My experience tells me these are not human bones. A little further south, another team lays out what they brought back from a search operation. They found ten corpses in a forest. Much of it was too disturbing to show here. Sometimes the soldiers carried vital clues with them. We have a notebook with some phone numbers here. This is probably his daughter's contact. With this information, it should be easy to establish his identity. Even the smallest physical remains can be enough to identify Ukrainian soldiers. There's an extensive DNA database. We found tiny pieces of fingers, teeth and fragments of all kinds of bones in the feces of animals. If there's any chance to identify a person, we don't shy away from anything. It's important that everyone is brought back to their families. Alexei says they can tell what side soldiers were on from identifying features like tattoos or boots. These today are probably Russians. They kill us, but we remain human. Every person should be buried with dignity. Back with Vladimir's team, many hours of searching have paid off. They've found the remains of several soldiers. Based on the location, Vladimir concludes that these are also Russian bodies. He says they might be able to exchange them for the bodies of Ukrainian soldiers found in occupied territory. We put them in a bag and store them. Later, special officers will come and use them in exchange processes. The volunteers here know their work gives grieving families the chance to bury their dead. It also gives them something for the future. Having an official declaration of death makes it easier for relatives to claim financial support.